greatest, greatest common factor of three numbers? Is that possible? Yeah, it is. We're gonna find the greatest common factor of three numbers. The three numbers are 12, 24, and 30. I'm gonna teach you how to use the prime factorization method, the, the method that works really well when you're using multiple numbers and the numbers are larger, maybe even larger than this. Hey, my name is Jason Jacobs, and this is Math with Jason Jacobs. Let's get ready to uh, learn the greatest common factor of three or more numbers using prime factorization. Hey, first I'm gonna find the prime factors of each one of these, the prime factorization of each one of these numbers. So 12, prime factorization of 12. Well, 12 can factor out into two. Well, two's prime, so I'll circle it. And six, six factors out into two and three. So the prime factorization of 12 is two times two times three. Now let's see the prime factorization of 24, guys. Uh, 24 factors out into two and 12. 12 factors out into, well, right here, right? So I'll go ahead and finish this one up for you guys. And the prime factorization of 24 is two times two times two times three. Two times two times two times three. And now the prime factorization of 30. 30 factors out into three and 10. Three is prime, 10 is composite, can still factor down. 10 factors out into two and five. So the prime factorization of 30 is two times three times five. I just like writing the, the prime factors in order from least to greatest. Now we're gonna make like Olympics, Olympic rings. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this, the factor trees, and I'll leave those prime factorizations up there. And now the circle will represent 12. I'm gonna overlap here. This circle here will represent 24, guys. And then this circle here, this circle here will represent 30. Okay, now I'm gonna put the prime factorizations in. So 12 is two times two times three. 24 was two times two times two times three. And 30 is two times three times five, guys. All right, now, we gotta find the common primes. Which prime factors are in common with all three of them? All right, so let's see. Let's see what we got. Here's a two, here's a two, and here's a two. So look guys, they both, all three of them, have a two. So we're gonna put that in the middle of all three. Now this one has a two, this one has a two, and this one does not. Here's what we do, watch. This will help you when you have to find the LCM. I'm just gonna put a little dot above it to know that I used it. So it, the twos are only in common here with these two circles. We'll put that right there. Here's a three, here's a three, and here's a three. So all three of them have a three, a, a prime factor of a three in common. So I'm gonna put that three in here as well. So not 23, this is two and a three. That's a comma there. All right, a two. Oh, we already used that two. That's why the dot's there. And now this two, there's nothing else in common there, so I'm gonna put that one there. We've already used all these prime factors, and I'm gonna put this five right here. So now, to find the prime factorization of these three numbers, or the greatest common factor of these three numbers, what you have to do is you take the product of the common primes that all three of them have in common. So they. All three have a two, and all three have a three. Two times three is six. Therefore, the greatest common factor, or the GCF, of 12, 24, and 30 is six. Six can divide into both 12, 24, and 30 evenly. There we go. Now, if you wanna find the least common multiple, all you have to do is multiply all of these numbers together. Not all of those prime factors, the ones in your Venn diagram. So. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24, and then 24 times 5 would be the least common multiple. Okay, so that's 120. So the least common multiple is 120. That's a little bonus there for you to find the least common multiple. Hey, this was uh, finding the greatest common factor using prime factorization with three numbers. You think you can do it? All right, that's good. My name is Jason Jacobs. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in our, uh, our next math videos. Like and subscribe if you want. Bye.